welcome everybody good evening it's nice to have you thank you so much for being here welcome this is english for work hello hello welcome everybody good evening thank you so much for joining this class it's nice to have you uh how are you you good thank you so much for joining thank you thank you so much good evening everybody we're gonna have our class number 10 today we're gonna keep uh, practicing this thing that is called uh, learning english okay so thank you so much all for being here welcome it's nice to have you one more time thank you so much good evening welcome 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 everybody i hope you're okay at home happy and healthy okay so we're gonna have this class right now here we go okie dokie Okay, here we go. Let me show you. Thank you so much for joining. Welcome. It's nice to have you one more time. Thank you so much. We're going to have section number four. The biggest and the best. That's the one we're going to keep working. Comparison with adjectives. We're going to keep learning on this one. Yeah. We're going to get into a bunch of grammar things today so i'm sorry for you okay so be ready at all because i got a bunch of grammar like things for you this is class number 10 thank you so much for joining on today's class uh, yesterday we started with this topic where we describe um things about comparison right we have the uh, comparison uh, on this section and let's begin with the video we're going to watch this video first about the grammar part so what i want you to do is just listen and watch Hello and welcome back. Remember there are different types of adjectives? That's right. We have short adjectives, long adjectives, and irregular adjectives. With that in mind, now we'll study the superlative of adjectives. Please stay around and pay attention to the explanation as well as the audio program. Comparisons with adjectives. Which country is larger, Canada or China? Canada is larger than China. Which city has the largest population? Tokyo, Mexico City, or Sao Paulo? Tokyo has the largest population of the three. What is the most beautiful mountain in the world? I think Mount Fuji is the most beautiful. Adjective, comparative, superlative. Long, longer, the longest. Dry, drier, the driest. Big, bigger, the biggest. Famous, more famous, the most famous. Beautiful, more beautiful, the most beautiful. Good, better, the best. Bad. Worse, the worst. Let's review comparative adjectives. We use the comparative adjectives to compare two people, places, or things. They are used in sentences where two nouns are compared in this pattern. Noun or subject plus verb plus comparative adjective plus than plus noun or object. Let's not forget what happens with short, long, and irregular adjectives. Study this chart and take notes as you do so. 
Take a look at these examples. They are applying the rules. My house is bigger than her house. His room is tidier than her room. The red car is more expensive than the blue one. Ready to learn about superlative adjectives? Superlative adjectives are used to describe an object which is at the upper or lower limit of a quality. They are used in sentences where a subject is compared to a group of objects. Follow this pattern. Noun or subject plus verb plus the plus superlative adjective plus noun or object. Study the chart. Just as comparative adjectives in superlative form, we also have short, long, and irregular adjectives, which you need to take into account when using them. Examples? He is the tallest of his family. Michael Phelps is the fastest swimmer in the world. Canada is the biggest country in North America. Can you write one sentence using good in its comparative form? Now write another sentence using good in its superlative form. Write both sentences in our discussion box. Okay, so let's take a look with superlative adjectives. As you may know, we have two, right? We have comparison and we have also superlative adjectives. Here, we're gonna have the second one, which is superlatives. We use superlatives when we, we, like when we compare in a group of people. We have one syllable adjectives with superlatives we have two syllable adjectives as well. Here is the grammar structure. As you may see, we use EST at the end of each adjective. Just with this one, we double the last consonant, okay? Like in here, hot, hottest. Here we have with two syllables consonant honest, we are going to use must with honest. With happy, we are going to have this structure, happiest, uh, narrow, we have the narrowest, okay. Famous, we're gonna use most famous, crazy, craziest, gentle, gentlest. These are with superlative adjectives, got it? Let's take a look with other adjectives with three or more syllables. Expensive, most expensive. Dangerous, uh, most dangerous. So all of this one goes with most, if you notice, right? We don't do anything else with the adjective. We just write at the beginning must. And here at the end, don't forget in English, we have something that is called irregular. With irregular adjectives, just be careful because we have a different option. Good, best, bad, war, far, farthest, far, farthest, little, list, many, mass. So just be careful with this thing, okay, when you use them. The ones that we use the most are like this ones at the beginning, okay. So it's like, I mean, somehow it's, it's difficult, but at the same time, it's quite simple, I guess. Okay, just let me see. Oh, Jesus Christ. Okay, I think I have it here. Just give me a minute, please. No. Okay. Give me a minute. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Okay, okay. What is that thing? I don't. I don't find it. Okay. Oh my gosh. Okay, okay. Okay. Uh, 
Oh my gosh. Oh, this one, I think this one is. I think I found it's gonna be a minute. No. Jesus Christ. Okay. Um, yes, yeah, just give me a minute because I don't. Um, no, it's not this one. No, no, also, it's not this. No. Oh, no. Okay, sorry. Okay, let's move on. It's not here. Sorry about it, okay. I thought I got it, but I don't have it. Okay, um, let's have here. Here we have the comparatives, okay? And superlatives. So next to our rules, as you may see. It says add ER or ES to the most worst. For example, the adjective that begins most of them goes with the first one. Lawn. Superlative, I'm sorry, comparative longer. And the superlative is gonna be longest. Also, we add R or ST to the words ending in letter E. So there are adjectives that ends with this grammar structure at the end, right? So for this one, we just add the rest. Like R, larger, EST, like the longest. A drop the letter I and add I E R or I E S T with adjectives like dry, drier, the dries, and double the final consonants and add E R or E S T. For example, with this one, big, biggest, I'm sorry, bigger and the biggest. We're going to have this one, busy, busier, the busiest. What about the number two? What is the comparative adjective with cool? Uh-huh. Cooler. That's right, cooler. Oh my gosh, sorry. Cooler, very good. And what is the superlative? Coolest. The coolest. Cool, coolest. Good. Yes, wonderful. Uh, friendly, what about friendly? More friendly. More friendly. I'm sorry, we have friendlier. Friendlier? Yes, that is correct. Friendlier and? The most friendly. The friendliest, no, okay. The friendly. Yes, very good. The friendliest, okay. Heavy. Heavier. Heavier. Thank you. Jesus Christ. Oh, heavier. The heavier. The heavier. The heavier. The heaviest. Jesus. The heaviest. Very good. Nice. Nicer. Nicer. Nope. And what is the other one? The nicest. The nicest. Nicer, very good. And the nicest. Nicest. Sorry. Okay. Noisy. Noisier. Okay. Noise. Noise here. And what about this one here? Older. The noisiest. Very good. Right? So we have noisier and the noisiest. What about all? Older. Oh, yes. Very good. Older. Oh, my. Sorry. And what about the other one? The order. The order. Okay. Thank you so much. Safe. Safer. Safer. Very good. Safer. 
The safest, very good. It's smaller. 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 Smaller, very good. Sorry. Oh, yes. And what about here? The smallest. The smallest. Exactly, right? Yay. Or what about wet? Wet. Very good. And here? The wettest. The wettest. Very good. Okay. Thank you so much. Do you have any question about the vocabulary here? Um. Do you understand the adjectives that you see on the screen? Yes. Yes, teacher. Wonderful. Okay, somebody wrong. Oh, ready. That's very nice of you. Okay, Jacqueline. Oh, I'm sorry. Jacqueline? Hello, Jacqueline. Do you hear me? Could, could you participate, Jacqueline? Yes or no? I think she's busy, right? Probably. Okay. Let's work with um, Alexander. Thank you. Oh, no, I'm sorry. I got a mistake on that one. Jose Mauricio Martinez, I'm sorry. We're going to make sentences, people. So you are going to make two sentences. The first one is going to be with, well, three sentences, pretty much. The first sentence is going to be with this verb. Um, Jesus Christ. <laughs> with this adjective. The first sentence is going to be with this adjective. The second sentence is going to be a comparative sentence. And the, sec the third one is going to be a superlative sentence. You are going to use the same adjective for this okay. one. So we're going to start with you, gentlemen. So listen, uh, the way Mauricio like does this thing, so then you can do it, okay? Okay, but correct me if I made a mistake, please. Uh, today I'm busy. Yesterday, no, no, let me see. Yesterday, it was a busier day than today. And this month is what it was the busiest month in the year. Thank you so much. Very good. Just with the third one, uh, okay. because we haven't Double. finished, you need to use the simple present. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. okay. Very good. But the other ones? Can you, can you bring me an example? Like this month is. I don't know, the busiest I ever had. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Perfect. Claudia, you're next with cool. Go ahead. Okay. Um, this room is cool. This room is cooler than the next one. This room is the coolest. Okay, just at the end of the last one, you need to add a compliment, like okay. in the house. Okay, right? this room is the coolest in the house. Beautiful, that's correct, yeah. Very good, beautiful, great job, Daniela. You go with the number three. Freddy, be ready because you're number four. Okay. Uh, let me see. Um, Edith, be ready because you're number five. Okay. So, Daniela, please, number three. Oh, are, are you busy, Daniela? Sorry. Because you didn't answer. Are, are you busy, Daniela? Can you participate? Okay, I'm gonna switch with Janessi. Janessi, good evening, welcome. Number three, Janessi, please. Good evening, teacher. Gary, I couldn't hear well. What do you, what was you asking 
Sorry. Oh, I need you to make three sentences, okay? The first one with this adjective, friendly. The friendly. second sentence is a comparative with friendlier. And the third sentence is a superlative yeah. sentence with friendliest, okay? Okay. Friend, friendly. Uh, my dog is very friendly. He is more friendlier than my cat. And he's the most friendliest dog I ever met. Oh, perfect. Can you repeat Hello. number two, Janessi? <laughs> Sorry? Can you repeat number two? Oh, my dog is friendlier than my cat. Beautiful. Beautiful. Very good. Great job, John Lady. It's good. So, uh, Freddie, thank you. Uh, good evening, teacher. I, I, I have a sentence. Yes, please. Um, yes, a heavy. Uh, when I was young, um, I was light, uh, but I... But I. But now. I am. <laughs> but now. But now, okay. But now, uh, I am. I am heavier. Heavy. I am heavy. Okay. Ah, heavy. <laughs> yes, very good. <laughs> now with heavier. With heavier. Uh -huh. Heavier. <laughs> okay. Mm -hmm. Freddy. You, you need to make a sentence with heavier, okay? Ah, heavier. Mm -hmm. uh, más, más pesado. Exactly. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I'm sorry, okay, about this. <laughs> um, I don't know. <laughs> oh, uh, you need to compare, compare. Compare. Um, um, like, when, for example, you and your brother, let's say. Ah, okay, with, with my brother. Uh, my, uh, my little brother uh, is more... No, no, no. He, no, he's, he's heavier. He's uh -huh. heavier than, uh, than me. Oh, <laughs> very good. Okay. <laughs> I thought you were heavier than him. Okay, what about <laughs> this one here? What about here, this one, with superlative, please? Uh, heavy, heaviest. Exactly. Uh, my, my brother, <laughs> my, mayor, what? <laughs> How do you say mayor in English? Mayor. Uh, oldest. Oldest brother. Older, older. Ah, uh, my oldest brother is the heaviest. <laughs> oh, <laughs> very heaviest good. weight. Okay. That makes sense, right? So you combine two, right? Two superlatives over there. <laughs> Thank you so much for sharing. I mean, getting heavier is is goes with the age. I don't know. Correct me if I'm wrong. Because that's the thing I, I get it. I remember when I was in my 20s, uh, I was like, think. Like, uh -huh. and then yes. I got Teddy. Jesus Christ. I don't know. Mm -hmm. I got to change, like, the size of my clothes. What, what um, change? A little and for, okay. and 40, so, oh my god oh yeah so i'm sorry for you if you're really getting into that one right? <laughs> but i'm like close to you i'm close to you so wait wait for me wait for me okay, okay. uh the next one uh i was working with edith right edith hello teacher go ahead <laughs> um Example with nice. My pet is a nice that the neighbor. <laughs> okay, can you like recall that? Like say it again. Oh said the sentence, Edith. Repeat mm -hmm. that, please. Oh my pet is a nice nicer or como dice? All right. With this one, nicer. with this one, nice. So the that sentence neighbor. is, my pet is nice. It's so nice that the neighbor. Oh, okay. Because you are adding like, for example, I'm sorry, my pet is a nice. That is correct? Mm-hmm. That is incorrect because this one, 
Uh, yeah, it's, it's incorrect. This one, no. Okay. Yeah, Maybe is... if you say my pet is nice. Is. Exact. My pet is nice. Is nice. Uh, yeah. Okay. Perfect. Now give me a comparative with nicer. Is my pet is a uh, is nicer than the neighbor? Than okay. Than my my neighbor. neighbor. Oh. Neighbor. Oh Jesus. <laughs> yeah. Than my neighbors. Oh. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ, I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, oh, really? Okay. Yeah. Oh, oh my gosh. That... <laughs> okay. Now make a superlative sentence. Make a superlative. Okay. Now make a superlative. <laughs> um... uh. Like this one with nice. My, my pet is nice. Oh, I'm sorry, with this one with nice. The nice is siempre is the nice. Exactly. Huh? My, my pet is the nice. Mm. The no. What the my pet is the nicest, and here you need to compare with a group of people, right? Mm. My neighbor. Oh. Okay. So you okay. can say like that one. Okay. Thank my you. pet is the nicest in my neighborhood. Here, you're com remember your neighborhood is your colonia, right? So that mm -hmm. makes, so you compare mm -hmm. it like with, with that. Thank you so much. You. Very good. Uh, Luis uh, Alberto, can you participate, Luis? Um, yes, of course. Please. With number six, please. Go ahead. Number six, uh, noisier. Oh, the first one with noisy, then with noisier, and then with the noisiest, okay? Okay. Mm. Noisy. Uh, maybe uh, the car, what is in this, what is uh, driving on the street is noise. It's noisy. It's very noisy. Okay, very good. And so... Uh, one big truck is noisier than one sedan. That's true. That is true. Yes. Um, the noisiest. The noisiest is, is uh, different, maybe. Um, the um, industrial uh, transportation from, uh, from uh, ships and containers and uh, trucks, uh, big trucks, uh, they are the noisiest uh, transport on the street. That's true. Thank you so much. Very good. Wonderful. Uh, Evers, can you participate, Evers? Yes, teacher. Wonderful. Number seven, please. Okay. Mm. <clears throat> These pants are very old. Thank you. For example, mm -hmm. uh, the blue jeans are older than the green ones. Beautiful. Thank you so much. Mm. The oldest. The oldest. No. Let me see. Okay. My grandfather is the oldest man in my family. 
Thank you so much. That's correct. Very good. Okay. Oh, wonderful. Thank you. Cindy? Hello, Cindy. Can you participate? Hello, teacher. Hey, excuse me. I don't, I don't hear you, Cindy. Can you put your microphone a little bit close? Close your mouth or, or you're not able to participate? Let me know. Blanca. Can you participate, Blanca? Yes. Or no? Liliana, can you participate, Liliana? Yes, teacher. Thank you. Please, with safe. My country is safe. Thank you. What about this one? My municipio. No sé cómo se pronuncia municipio. My city. My municipality is the safe. Okay, you are here. It's the safest. It's the safest. It's the safest. Like, okay, very good. Where? Like, in in San Salvador, in San Miguel, in Santa Ana. Y Apaneca. Okay, very good. Thank you so much. What about with safe? Can you give me a sentence with safe? My country is safe. Oh, very good. Thank you so much. Kevin Eduardo Flores with number nine, small. Hello, Kevin. Hello, teacher. Thank you. Please, small. Um. I'm sorry, teacher, but uh, how 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 is the the homework in in, in this in this oh. moment? Okay, you need to make sentences. One sentence with a small, one sentence with comparative, which is smaller, and one sentence with superlative, which is this one, the smallest. Oh, okay, okay. Uh, my cell phone is uh, my cell phone my. My cell phone have have uh, a small. Excuse me. Uh, Repeat that, please. My cell my cell phone have a uh, small. Oh, have I have a small? Yeah, a small. Uh, give me more details. What is the the object that is a small? Maybe have a small screen. Oh, it, that is correct. That is correct, right? A small screen, a small case, a small battery. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yes. Oh, 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 I'm mm -hmm. sorry. I'm sorry. Exactly. No, that's okay. No problem. That's good. Okay. 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 Very, very good. Uh, uh, my county is so small. Oh, oh uh, I'm sorry to hear about it. What about this one <laughs> with uh, the smaller? My grand grandfather is. It's so it's so smaller that that me. Uh, uh, the for example the the Empire State is the is the smallest than the 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 mountain uh, Everest. Okay, very good. Very good. You have like, like a mistake, for example, here you, you mentioned like, it's so smaller than me. Okay, so in that one, just go with like one person and another person. Like, um, my grandfather is smaller than me. Okay. And in here, you need to or like compare in a group of buildings, right? So the Empire State Building is the smallest in the city, let's say. Yep. So you are comparing with other buildings in the city. Thank you so much, Kevin. And uh, with the last one, please, um, Tiffany, can you do the last one? Wet. Tiffany, can you participate? No? No, okay. Jose Alcides, can you participate? Hello, Jose Alcides. 
No. Okay. Uh -huh. Ronald, yes. can you? Oh, yes. Hello. Jose Alcides, can you Hola. participate? <laughs> yes, thank you so Hello. much. With number 10, please. With number 10. Yes. With number 10, okay. Um, my t shirt is wet. Perfect. It's okay. Yes. Okay. Mm. Um, my uh, your 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 clothes or your t-shirt is wearer than than me than my mine. That is correct. Very no. good. Perfect. Okay. Um, your cloth is the wettest. Okay. That is correct. Very good. Thank you. Great job. Yes, in this one, um, I just I would like to mention, don't forget verb to be. Yes. When we use comparative, go with verb. That's the easiest way that we can compare things. That little thing that is called verb to be. Okay. So, for example, if you want to use um, this one that is small. Why? Yes. So... Use verb to be. Carlos is a small. Yes? Right? Oh, no, I'm sorry. I'm going to use something else because it's short with H. Sure. Um, I don't know. Uh, I don't know. Uh, the book or the table. The table is a small. Okay. Then um, the table is a smaller than um uh, let's say uh, the tree right yeah so use use word to be when you compare and um i don't know uh, mango tree uh tree is the smallest um in the forest okay let's say Right, so this is the way you do it. Like most of this thing goes with verb to be. So the basic thing is to compare using the verb to be, right? With this thing that is called is. Yes. Oh, sometimes you can compare plural things. That's also good. But here, most of them goes with uh, the verb to be. So you have the first one, which is the normal, right? Adjectives where you say, oh, the table is small. In the second one, you compare between the table in a tree and the third one you compare a mango tree in like a group in a forest okay that's the way you do it with this ones okay um sorry for that one i need to check right now the attendance so please when you hear your name say present or oh, i'm here uh give me a minute because i forgot jesus i forgot yeah Okay, um, here we go. Uh, Ana Cristina Peña de Paz. Present teacher. Good evening, nice to have you. Blanca Isolina Guzmán Cruz. I'm here. Wonderful. Briseida Janet Garcia de Crespin. Briseida, are you here? Let me check if Briseida is here. Briseida. Yes, she is here. Um, Cindy Stephanie Ramirez Rodriguez, thank you so much for being here. Claudia Yesenia Flores de Galdames. I'm here, teacher. Christian David Galicia Ramirez. Present, teacher. Thank you so much, Claudia and Christian. Good evening. Daniela Mercedes Olivares Resinos. Good evening, Daniela. You told me that you were eating. <laughs> Yes, thank you. Nice to have you. Ever, Ernesto Perdomo. I'm here, teacher. Yes, nice to have you, gentlemen. Edith Carolina Rivera de Segundo. I'm here, teacher. Thank you so much and welcome. Ed Elisa Maria Garcia de Ruiz. Present, teacher. Welcome. Nice to have you. Uh, Freddy Alberto Paz Carrillo. Present, teacher. Thank you. Ileana Mariel Alvarado Menjibar. Present, teacher. Good evening, Janessi Alexandra Lopez Portillo. Present. 
Thank you so much and welcome. Um, Janessi Alexandra Lopez Portillo. I think I mentioned that one. Jacqueline Vanessa yes. Rodriguez Sanchez. Present teacher. Thank you so much. Uh, Jorge Mauricio Gutierrez Alfaro. Present teacher. Thank you so much. Good evening. Jose Alcides Leiva Ibarra. Present teacher. It's nice to have you. Thank you so much. Jocelyn Tatiana Moreno okay. Mercedes. Jocelyn. Moreno Mercado. Oh, Jesus, I yes. apologize. Okay, Jocelyn Tatiana Moreno Mercado. <laughs> I'm sorry. Juan yes. Jose Garcia Mendez. Present teacher. I'm Thank here. you so much. Good evening. Welcome. Kevin Eduardo Flores Sanchez. Present teacher. Thank you so much, Kevin. Nice to have you. Liliana del Tránsito Aguilar Juárez. Present teacher. Thank you so much and welcome. Luis Alberto Garcia Gertrudis. I'm here. Nice to have you. Welcome. Marcos Alberto Palacios Herrera. Good evening, so. teacher. Thank Hello. you, Marcos. Nice to have you. Maria Vilma Cortez Rivas. Present. Thank you so much. Milena de los Ángeles Aragón Pleites. I think I saw Milena. Let me double check that one really quick. Milena. No, she isn't here. Um, Mirna del Carmen Ruano Reyes. Thank you, Mirna. Good evening. Ronald Rafael Cruz Amaya. Present teacher. Thank you so much. Nice to have you. Sandra Noemi Pimentel Álvarez. Welcome and good evening. Tiffany Guadalupe Martinez Mendez. Hello, Tiffany, you're here, right? And Jenny Elizabeth Tolosa. Thank you so much for being here. It's you nice didn't mention me, teacher, oh, Jose Mauricio. Thank you. And also Carlos, right? Uh, let me see. Jose Mauricio Martinez Sarabia, right? Yes. Thank you so much. I apologize. Thank you so much Don't for worry. being here. Also Carlos Castro. I'm sorry, did I mention your name? Thank you so much, both of you, for being here. Okay, let's practice with extra um, things. Don't forget the irregular adjectives in English. Yes, here we have these ones are irregular, as you may see. Sometimes we call them this one ad adverbs as well. Yeah, right. So these are the, co the comparative, and this, like, is the superlative form of these ones. Don't forget those things, because those are a headache sometimes. Uh, we're going to have this conversation. Uh, use the information in parentheses, for example. So where did you go for your vacation, Kathy? Japan, how exciting. Did you have a good time? It was terrific. I think Japan is the most exciting country in Asia. Well, it certainly has some of. What is here? Interesting. Some of the most the most exactly very good. Oh, the most oh my sorry again the most interesting. Okay, so some of the most interesting cities in the world: Tokyo, Osaka, and Kyoto. Yeah, I'd had time in Kyoto. Which one do you think it is, comparative or superlative? A better. Oh, that is comparative. Yes, yes it's a comparative. Okay, and um, here in the sentence, when we have a comparative, um, how many, let's say, subjects do we need? We need another another city to compare. Exactly. So, so we need another city, right? How many cities we have here? Only one. 
only one exactly so based on that it is not a comparative because we it's don't a have superlative. A comparative. yes it's exactly a superlative. exactly so, i had the best time in kyoto exactly very good i had the best time in kyoto it's is um, the most beautiful city exactly thank you so much the most Okay. Beautiful. The most beautiful city I ever seen. Of course, it's also one of the most popular. Yeah, one of the most popular. Exactly. Most popular. Oh, I'm sorry. The most popular. Okay, it was the most popular tourist attractions. It was. <laughs> uh, it was the most crowded city. Exactly. It was the most crowded. The most crowded. I think I did a mistake here. No, right? I think no. that's correct. No. Yeah. It was the most crowded city I visited this summer. And then I need to move this one to the side. I'm sorry. Um, I always wanted to visit Japan. What's it like in the winter? Let me close this one. Actually, I think that's... <laughs> okay. Um, Superlative or comparative? Superlative. Superlative, exactly. Mm -hmm. The worst. Exactly, very good. Oh my. That's the worst. That's the worst, right? Time to visit because I don't like cold weather. However, I think Sapporo Snow Festival is. Superlative too. The most, the most fascinating. fascinating. Exactly. The most fascinating. Very good. The most fascinating festival in the world. Very good. So we have Keegan and Kathy. Please let me see. Oh, Jesus. I'm sorry. Did I mistake here? Oh, let me check. Let me check. Let me check. Oh, my gosh. Thank you. We're going to have Ronald. You are going to be this one, Keegan. Juan Jose, you are going to be Kathy. Ready? Let's begin. Hello, Ronald. Ronald, Rafael. Can you participate? Juan Jose. <coughs> Yeah, I oh, Ronald, you are you are Juan, you are Kathy. Janessi, please help us with number one. Keegan, Janessi. Okay. Uh, so where did you go for your vacations, Kathy? Japan. How exciting. Did you have a good time? It was traffic. I think Japan is the most exciting country in Asia, in Asia. well it certainly it certainly has some of the most interesting cities in the world Tokyo Osaka and Kyoto yeah I had the best time in Kyoto it's the most beautiful city I've ever seen of course it's also one of the most on the most popular tourist attraction it was the most crowded city i visited this summer i always wanted i always wanted to visit japan what it is like in the winter actually i think that's the worst time to visit because I don't like cold water. However, I think the 
Supper is now festival in the most fantastic festival in the world. Yes, here I have a mistake with letter T. I'm missing letter T here. Beautiful. That's correct. Right? So um I think it's not it's not like too typical on this one. Thank you so much. Please, Jorge Mauricio. Please describe the pictures, uh, Jorge. The three pictures. Yes, thank you. Okay, uh, the first picture and bad weather by a scene. Um, parece como un desierto. Exactly. How do you say desierto in English? Desert. Oh, a desert. Very good. Desert. Desert. That's correct. Okay. Uh, the the second picture, the Suez Canal, is uh, I look is a beach is that's correct. Is is como es como un puerto. Yeah. Sí. So so if you see here, we have a canal, right? Canal, sí. We have Panama Canal as well. Okay. Yes. Very good. Okay. And the last picture is the mountain with the little river. river. Yeah. Uh, so there, there is water falling, right? Water falling. Yeah, from rocks. How do you call that okay. thing? When water falls from rocks, from a, like a high place, how do you call that one? Okay. Oh, we call like like water waterfalls, right? Sometimes we call it like that. Very good. Here we're gonna have another one about completing sentences. Bad water basin in California, Death Valley is the lowest point in North America. The Suez Canal jumps the Mediterranean and Red Seas. It is 190 kilometers and 118 miles long. It is longer than the Panama Canal. What about the number three? Comparative or superlative? Not well enough, well, the wettest. Yeah. Yes, it is. It's the wettest. Very good. What about the number four? Wait, Canada number and Russia. Comparative uh, or superlative? Superlative. superlative too. Okay. The largest country. Oh, the largest. Very good. The largest countries in the world. Very good. Number five, Russia is comparative or superlative? Comparative. comparative. Okay. Larger so, than. Okay. Larger than. Very good. Thank you. What about number six? Comparative or superlative? Superlative. Superlative. Oh, okay. Very good. So, what is this the beginning? The highest, the highest waterfall in the world is Venezuela. Okay, I'm sorry. The highest, very good. The highest waterfall in the world is in Venezuela. Oh, I think the one that we saw in the previous picture, right? The Atacama Desert is in Chile is comparative or superlative. 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 Very good. The so, dry is. The, the dry, dry is. is very good. The dry is, um, oh, Jesus, I'm sorry. I forgot the letter T here. Oopsie. Okay, so place in the world. What about number eight? The superlative or comparative? Superlative. Okay, very good. 
The hottest capital city. Oh, very good. City. Hottest, uh, the hottest, very good. The hottest capital city. Okay, very good. What about number nine? Comparative or superlative? Superlative. Very good. Coldest. Coldest. Oh, it's the coldest. Very good. The coldest. Okay, the coldest, right? Like sometimes. <laughs> okay, like my heart, right? Sometimes it's like the coldest, right? Nothing there. Nothing there, okay? Everything is death. <laughs> the Himalayas are son of. Comparative or superlative? Comparative. Superlative. Superlative. Oh, okay, very good. So, which one is here? The most, the most dangerous. 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 Very good. Okay. Dangerous. Jesus, I thought I was writing, but that's not the case. I'm sorry. Yeah, my <laughs> bad. Oh, my gosh. Dangerous. Yep. Right. The most dangerous. Very good. Mont Blanc. I'm sorry, Blanc in the French Alps is. Oh, comparative or superlative? Comparative. Comparative. Is higher than. Okay. Yeah, comparative is. So it's like comparative. It's higher than the one per corn. Mother Mother? Okay. <laughs> it's a higher. You're talking about it. higher. Then. Okay. It's higher than the mother horn in the Swiss Alps. Oh, that's good. The Pacific Ocean yeah. is deeper. <laughs> Deeper than. Exactly. Deeper than. Very good. The ocean. Ah, oh, look at this one, right? Oh, look at this one, right? We're learning new things. I didn't know the information about these places. Look at that one. I don't even know what is like Mascat Aman. Do you know what is this one? Mascat Aman. No, what is that located by any chance? Do you know that what information? Mascot Aman. No? Okay, Luis. Hello, Luis. Do me a favor, Luis. Please read sentences one, two, three, four, and five. Then please um Elisa. Elisa, read number six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. Okay. Thank you. I will start. Uh, number one, but water basin in California's Death Valley is the lowest point in North America, uh, in North America. Sorry, the Suez Canal joins the Mediterranean and Red Seas. It is one hundred ninety ninety kilometers long. It is uh, longer than the, the Panama Canal. Mount Wailil in Hawaii gets 1,170 centimeters of rain a year. It is the wettest place on the earth. Canada and Russia are the largest countries in the world. And number five, Russia is larger than Canada. Perfect pronunciation. Great job. Okay. Well, thanks. I think I mentioned somebody, right? Elisa. Can you participate, Elisa? No? No? Okay. Mauricio. Oh, Jesus. I don't know why. Yes. Jose Mauricio. Now I got it right. Now I got it right. <laughs> Thank you, Mauricio. Please go ahead. Okay. From. Yeah. From number six till 12. To 12. Okay. Russia is larger than Canada. The highest waterfall in the world is in Venezuela. The Atacama Desert in Chile is the driest place in the world. 
the hardest capital city in the world is Muscat, Oman. The continent of Antarctica is the coldest any other place in the world. The Himalayas are some of the most dangerous mountains to climb. Mont Blanc in French Alps is higher than the Matterhorn in the Swiss Alps. The Pacific Ocean is deeper than the Atlantic Ocean. At one place, the Pacific Ocean is 11,033 meters or 36,198 feet deep. Thank you so much. I think, we did, I think we did a mistake with number nine. Because now that you're ready oh. in it, I think it's comparative. Yeah. Yeah. I think it's colder than. Oh, Jesus. Even though he, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I think we did a mistake on this one. I'm sorry. Can you, can you read it one more time? Okay. The continent, the continent of Antarctica is colder than any other place in the world. Oh, yeah, that makes sense. Yeah. Thank you so much. I'm sorry for that one. Okay. Okay. All no, people, no I'm flies. Good night. Rest. Thank you. And see you tomorrow. Good night. Wonderful. Bye. Okay. Bye. Thank you so much for everything. Good night, teacher. Thank you. Good night, teacher. Good night, partners. Thanks. Thank you for everything you've done.